pointed Thank the gun you. at the person and told her she was gonna bust her What? Shit. I did not say that! Alright, he's starting to move. Yeah, he's running. He just fell down. Come on, mother Okay, you think you, I can't you, do it? I know. Don't want to do black this. Black belt in okay. black belt in judo. Florida man. Wild stories involving residents of the Sunshine State have been making headlines for years, and for good reason. We're breaking down the top 10 Florida man or woman arrests caught on camera. Welcome to After Hours, presented by Law and Crime. I'm Sam Goldberg. First, we're in South Beach, Miami, where a man allegedly tried to steal a jet ski, then jumped into the ocean and took off his swim trunks. It's Sunday, April 2nd, 2023. Police responded to a report that a man had tried to take a jet ski available for rent without permission. What he tried to do was grab one of the keys from the jet ski. He tried to push the jet ski out so he can go. So at that moment, he tried to stop it. Right? He went to the water. So you guys never, you, know, you guys never gave me consent? Nothing. Not never paid for it. So, and I bet you have to call the everything is recorded. He actually grabbed the key. Yes. Yeah. And he tried to grab the paper from the key. He grabbed the paddles which kind of hit us. Oh, he broke one of the time. The business manager tells police the man broke a paddle and tried to hit him in the head with it before going into the water. Police on shore wait for Marine Patrol to arrive, but the water is too shallow for the boats to get too close. That's when the suspect decides to strip down in full view of everyone on the beach, including children. Is he naked? Yeah. 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 Hey, we'll get him for this exposure the second he comes up. The man can be heard yelling and even singing in multiple languages. The officers try to get him to come out of the ocean, but it's not working. Eventually, several fellow beachgoers took matters into their own hands. They surrounded the suspect in the water and eventually dragged him to the sand. The officers cover him up with a towel and drag him from the water up onto the beach, then put him onto the back of a golf cart. I guess swim and you guys hitting me. Shame on you. Nobody's hitting me. They took him to be looked over by first responders, putting him onto a stretcher and into an ambulance. The suspect tells officers his name is Neil, but is eventually identified as Yakiv Levi. He was arrested and charged with aggravated battery on a law enforcement officer, resisting an officer with violence, lewd behavior, aggravated battery, providing a false name after arrest, and grand theft. Next, we're in Tampa, Florida. It's just after 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve, 2023. According to police, 34-year-old Eliezer Armando Reyes Rios crashed his car. But when an officer arrived to try to help him, Rios took off running, eventually climbing a fence into a construction site. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office used its helicopter to track him. All right, we do have a subject just north of a tree. He's on the southeast corner. Looks like it's a... Uh... He's in a culvert. He's, you won't be able to see him from where you're at because it's a culvert, I just realized. But you are right across from him. Rios doesn't seem too concerned about what's going on as he lays underneath the tree. Yeah, just so you all know, he's just sort of casually laying there with his arms behind his head. He even starts to make dirt angels with his arms. Rios then decides to leave his hiding place and try to make a run for it, but that doesn't go exactly to plan. All right, he's starting to move. Yeah, he's running. He just fell down. He's running towards the west. The sheriff's office sent in an officer with his canine who was able to take Rios into custody. Get on the ground. Shut up. Get on the ground. Or you're going to get bit. Get on the ground or you're going to get bit. Hey, this is your final warning. Get on the ground or you're going to get bit. 
Reyes was charged with leaving the scene of an incident, driving with a canceled, suspended, or revoked license, trespassing on a construction site, and resisting an officer without violence. Now we move to Coco, Florida, and this time it's a Florida woman who's in trouble with the law. Police responded to a McDonald's fast food restaurant on March 16th, 2023, around 11 p.m. for a report of a woman threatening employees with a gun. They found Quave Young inside her SUV at the drive through window. Put that gun away. Put it down. The officers get Young out of the car and put her in handcuffs. What is the problem? Apparently they saw your gun and they thought you it's were in the It's in the car. I have it in my car. That's where I have it. Okay, I'm just telling it's you. It's no big deal. You she got mad order. because she... She got mad because I asked for my order. That was the problem. I didn't do nothing. All I said was, I'm still waiting on my number one order because I asked for it and I'm trying to go home. She got mad and was also crazy. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm still here waiting. Okay. I got a gun from it. I'm still waiting. We don't know all that. I don't care. That's the crazy part. Oh. She can she can say what she want to say. That's weird. Okay. I'm still here waiting on my damn order. Young is insistent that this is all some sort of misunderstanding. What is on being stopped for? What is the problem? I just told you. No, you did not, sir. No, you didn't. She didn't. saw your gun. Okay. And you were threatening her with it. I did not threaten her with nothing, sir. Well, At so all. I did not threaten her with nothing. That's what we're here to No. Do. I've been sitting in the car. Why would I threaten someone I'm still sitting in my car waiting on my damn order? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. That's she don't, she's not making why, any sense. That's what we're here to figure out. According to the employees, Young ordered a meal that wasn't on the menu and became irate when they told her she needed to order something else. She reportedly drove up to the first window and again demanded the off-menu meal. She pointed Thank the gun you. at the person and told her she was going to bust her What? I did not say that. She's a damn liar. You want to watch the video? No, she's not going to sit here and lie on me like that. No, she's not going to do that. And I'm finna call my mom right now because she that's weird as hell. You can get my um no, I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my um phone. Thank you so she's a he's a liar. She's a fing liar. An officer goes inside to talk to the McDonald's employees and check out store security video. And it's not good news for Young when he comes back out. You wanna put her in the car? Yep. Okay. For what? You're under arrest. For what? What what did I do? Hmm? What did I do? Can you tell me? Aggravated what assault. Assault of what? So what's you said, assault? Uh, yeah. Assault. Like, how is that assault? I didn't... Oh. You, you telling somebody that you're going to hurt them, you got a gun in next to you. I didn't tell her I was going to hurt her. Oh, that's what her affidavit's saying. That's the call that we got. Young was taken to jail where she continued to repeat that she hadn't done anything wrong while she was being booked. I didn't even do nothing. All I said was... All she didn't get my order right. Then I have already, I mean, it was in my car anyways. I ain't say that I was going to shoot her or even point it towards well, her. Well, that in and of itself is a second degree misdemeanor to have it open in your vehicle. I didn't assault her. No. No, I just get a lawyer. It's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't do nothing about it. And I can't even. Young was then charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, open carrying of a firearm, and driving with a suspended license. She's expected back in court for a status hearing at the end of January. So I think it's pretty clear from watching After Hours, as I know everyone does every single week, the world isn't always the safest place. It's important to realize if you're ever seriously hurt, your injury could actually be worth millions. That's where Morgan & Morgan, a proud sponsor of After Hours, comes in. Morgan & Morgan doesn't just settle for lowball offers. In the past couple months, they've seen verdicts of 12 million in Florida, 26 million in Philadelphia, and 6.8 million in New York. And here's the kicker. The fee is absolutely free unless you win. You can start your claim with America's largest injury law firm in just a single click on your phone. They've completely modernized the injury law process. So you can submit a claim and communicate with your legal team all from your phone. You don't even have to leave your couch to do so. So to start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan, go to www.forthepeople.com backslash after hours or click the link in the description and in the pinned comments. Next, we head to Davenport, Florida. It's Monday, November 13th, 2023. Deputies responded to a neighborhood where two suspects, a man and a woman, were apparently breaking into cars. Surveillance video captures what happened when police showed up to the scene. 
The white sedan speeding past the deputies is the suspect car. They're driving around trying to find an exit, but the subdivision only has one. When the suspects turned around, they ended up crashing into a car that was fortunately unoccupied. It's a good thing the deputy decided to move his cruiser because the white car ends up landing where it was parked just moments later. 31-year-old Rebecca Kozub was taken to a hospital with a fractured leg from the crash. 37-year-old Timothy Hoji was booked for a burglary of an unoccupied vehicle, petty larceny, fleeing police, possession of meth, and resisting arrest. He'll be back in court at the end of February. And get this, on his neck is the tattoo, quote, all gas, no brakes. Both Kozib and Hoji have a long criminal history with dozens of felonies and misdemeanors between them. Next, we're in Flagler County, where officials say a man stole an expensive electric scooter from a Target store, then started to assemble it right outside. It's April 3rd, 2023. A witness says a man took a Razor brand e-scooter valued at more than $500 out of the store without paying for it. What's going on, man? What's up? Favor, stand up. Huh? Stand up. I'm going to detain you for a second. The man, who was later identified as Patrick Vandermaden Miller, was cooperative with the deputy to a point. Did you buy this scooter? You don't want to answer that question? The deputy arrested Vander Maiden Miller and found drug paraphernalia in his pocket. He was charged with petty larceny and possession of drug paraphernalia and held on a $2,000 bond. Now we're back in Polk County where another man was arrested for theft. And it's what he's accused of stealing that really made the headlines. 26-year-old Toby Foster turned himself into the sheriff's office after apparently being caught on video taking ingredients for a cocktail from an apartment. Deputies say on November 23rd, 2023, around 5.30 in the morning, Foster broke into an apartment and stole vodka and orange juice, the common ingredients for a screwdriver. Foster was caught on surveillance camera. He was charged with burglary of a dwelling and petty larceny. Now we're in Port Orange, just south of Daytona Beach. It's Tuesday, May 9th, 2023 at 12.30 in the afternoon. Police responded to a smoke shop on a report of a man being disruptive and threatening workers. Um, I don't know if he is still sitting out there at the moment. Um, he might be the guy at Alberto's. Mm -hmm. But I called about him causing a disturbance and he's come in here quite a few times already. He has bothered me and customers. It makes me very uncomfortable. He said a lot of vulgar things to me and he likes to grab things and try and come by in the counter. So, kind of want him trespassed. The officer finds William Bussey in the same shopping center. Bussey tells the officer he has a question. I was arrested about eight months ago. Okay, back up for me a little bit, oh, please. Okay. I was arrested eight months ago, and I spent 18 months in prison, which uh, was not fun. I'm so glad to be out. But anyways, I'm suing the Volusia County Sheriff. I'm suing, this is all with my lawyer, it's currently underway. Uh, what's your question? Just okay. get to that. If I sue the Port Orange the Police Department and they give me $250,000, that's tax free, right? I have no idea. Okay, I'll have to talk to my accountant about that. Okay. The officer then tries to get things back on track. You are now trespassing from the store, which means you cannot go in there anymore. Okay, Do you understand all right, that? All right, then she'll have to set my stuff outside then. What stuff? I have $2,000 worth of merchandise that she's holding. Bussy's demeanor suddenly changes, and he becomes incredibly combative. No, she said that she rung go a bunch of stuff her. up for you, and you never right bought now. it. Okay. Go ask her, you mother Okay. Come over here, and I'll kick the okay. out of you. Come on, mother Okay. You, you think you, I can't do it? I know. Don't want to do this. I got a black belt, a karate, okay. a black belt, and judo. You understand you're, you're trespassing from the store, correct? I'll take your gun and walk you talk Okay. And I'll drive off in your patrol car. Okay. You understand you're trespassing from the store, correct? Yes, I understand, you mother. Okay. Now get the out of my face. I'm 12 feet away from you, not in your face at all. Okay. Bussy just threw a piece of lunch meat at the officer, and the cop at this point has had enough. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Put your hand back. Okay, okay. Put your hand back. You're under arrest. Put your other hand back. Now. Put your other hand behind your back right now. Okay. Right now. Put your other hand behind right. your back. Jesus Christ. Put your hand behind your back right now. Bussy tells the officer that his arrest will only lead to more legal action. This is a lawsuit. I'm suing you for a million. 
10 mil, whatever. Wait till my lawyer gets a hold of this. Right now you're under arrest for battery on a law enforcement officer for throwing something at me. Oh, you still launch me. Are yeah, well, sure? don't do it. Why would you throw something at me? Because you piss me off. That's well, why. there you go. Bussy continues to prove that he's a man who doesn't quite know when to quit. You're lucky I didn't have my pocket knife with me. That's sad you would be dead right now. Bussy was booked for battery on a police officer. In October, Bussy was sentenced to 200 days in jail. Next, we're back in Flagler County, where a man allegedly punched his neighbor in the face then jumped into a canal to try to get away from police. What are you doing? Dude, what are you doing this for? It's Sunday, November 19th, 2023, just before 5 p.m. Flagler County deputies say Philip McGraw walked into his neighbor's garage and then hit him. Both men ended up in the street and McGraw's stepdad pulled up in a truck. McGraw hopped in and the men took off. Deputies tried to do a traffic stop, but the stepfather kept driving, eventually ending up back where it all started. That's when deputies say McGraw jumped into the water and swam through multiple canals to try to avoid capture. Hold secure. You have any weapons on you? Roll up. McGraw ended up going to jail soaking wet. Deputies charged him with unarmed burglary of an occupied dwelling, simple battery, petty theft, and resisting an officer without violence. McGraw entered a no contest plea and was ordered to pay almost $300 in fines and go to jail for 30 days. Now we go to Polk County, where a man delivering for DoorDash allegedly wanted more for his services than just a tip on the app. Identified by the sheriff's office as Salim, dropping off a customer's Taco Bell order in May of 2023. He looks directly at the camera several times before taking a photo of the food for proof of delivery. But then he decides to take an Amazon package from the front stoop and puts it under his shirt. The customer then reported the theft to the sheriff's office and they subpoenaed DoorDash to identify the driver. Salim was arrested and charged with burglary and petty theft for taking the package which had an oil filter inside worth only about $8. Our last stop on this Florida man journey is in Citrus County, where the sheriff's office featured a Florida woman on its Warren of the Week social media post in November 2023. The sheriff's office posted a photo of Stacy Usher, who apparently tried to hide from deputies inside of a couch. Deputies had been searching for her after they say she violated her probation by selling fentanyl. Usher is a convicted felon in multiple Florida counties with a history of drug fraud, grand theft, and using bogus checks. The Florida man phenomenon is so well known, organizers have put together the quote Florida man games set to take place in St. Augustine in February. One of the events is the quote evading arrest obstacle course where participants will run from actual officers. The website also boasts a mud wrestling event, mullet contest, and boxing match showdown between police and firefighters. Thanks for watching for Law and Crime After Hours. I'm Sam Goldberg.